Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Ray. Again, you may be looking at the screen wondering where I am. Um, since I am doing your yearly 2022 yearly world and celebrity predictions, I did not want to be on camera when I do this because I am actually reading five pages of material, but enjoy the background and just know that I am here and this is my voice. And so we're going to get started. I'm going to start with the world predictions. Pandemic. The big question is when is it going to end? The powers that be have created fear and that vibration is felt throughout um, through the whole world, though the awakened ones realize what is going on. I see there being variants, but notice how we don't hear anything about the flu. I see the agenda is to keep pushing for people to fall in line with the process of things. However, I see people all over the world getting tired and resisting. I see people making their own decisions, and I see the actual strain slowly beginning to fade into the background. Once where there was fear, there is a new wave of consciousness that is ex being expanded, meaning that people will be educated and you will start to have people, um, you know, still getting the thing um, that's being pushed, but then there will be people that don't get it and that they're okay. This is all created great division. I do feel like China has more of these viruses in development and it's part of their way to create weakness in the world. Their hopes has always been to be the big superpower and the one country to control the world. They succeeded with this pandemic and the outbreak we experienced in 2021, 2020, sorry, 2020, 2021. Um, shortages. Um, there will continue to be food and gas shortages here in the USA and affecting other countries. Um, I keep feeling like um, and seeing that um, prices will continue to soar. I also feel that this will be felt through the winter months with electricity and trickle into healthcare and medication prices, though I do see um, that 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 this is for a short period of time. Outages, there will continue to be rolling blackouts in certain parts of the world. These will be temporary, but especially during winter, summer months, we may experience more. All right, now we're gonna get into the administration itself. And by the way, all these predictions will be available on my website at www.raymondguzman.net, okay? Um, administration, President Biden, I continue to see his health deteriorating and I feel like this is a severe cognitive and physical decline. I will say here as a disclaimer that this is not me being a medical doctor or diagnosing, it's only from a spiritual perspective. And again, keep in mind, all of this is for entertainment purposes only, though we do know that spirit is real and this is real insight. Um, there are other circulatory issues that he may be experiencing, though I do feel like he will become a little bit more unpredictable in his mood swings. I see Kamala becoming more and more aggravated as she would like to have more things done differently than the president. So there's an underlying tone of disapproval that the vice president has. I see more money being spent, but also Americans upset at the way the administration is handling things. I see people who voted for this party regretting their decision in the long run. I see a lot of people uh, being affected by their policies, which will trickle down into taxes, government funded programming and such. How I see things is that many uh, appointed to offices have no leadership and basically running the show themselves with very little supervision or communication. There is a time where I feel the vice president that Vice President Harris might take over the pre uh, for President Biden. I think that many of us have felt this on a deep level and I am not sure when this occurs, but I do see it very being very possible. Um, Anthony Fauci. I see him eventually stepping down. There's going to be a lot of continued controversy over this man, and many Americans have lost faith in him and his decisions regarding the pandemic. I also see him feeling very tired and going through some health uh, issues as well. I feel like there's been a, several health issues that he hides from the public, but will eventually make news. All right, so now we're going to get into Facebook and Meta. I see there being a lot of changes in leadership in Zuckerberg and um, with Zuckerberg and what he has done. I see tons of lawsuits and other legal issues that will slowly allow this to fade um, into the background. There is going to be a new platform that eventually takes Meta's place. Um, these, um, they are rebranding for many reasons, mainly legal ones, but I see the power of Facebook and Twitter eventually actually fading. Um, censorship. Censorship will, um, will be changing too, as there will be more whistleblowers that come forth and more truths that make the airwaves. It's like Zuckerberg and Jack Dorsey now are asking themselves how loyal their crew of employees were. The fact is that many of them were infiltrated by spies uh, and people who have been working undercover for the government or for the governmental entity, a governmental entity. So none of these secrets are so secret anymore. This was a chess move and there, there, 
there is fear among these platforms. Um, Australia. Australia, there is so much spiritual wars and unrest in this once beautiful country. I see there being more rules and people being forced to get things in their body that they don't want or approve of. I see there being stricter rules and it's all, almost as if things um, will never be the same in Australia, even when this pandemic is in the background. There will be others who will slowly apply for visas when they can and move out of the country. Within the country, I see there being change of powers in B2. Um, there's a lot of fear, but the people's voice is not being heard. And I also feel like the climate there will be changing. There will be a resurgence resurgence of wildfires if not careful. I also feel that there will be more violence, mass shootings quite possibly taking place in Sydney or close to this area. I see mental, mental health being affected. This has affected many people already. Cuba, this beautiful country, I see there continuing to be oppression and people struggling, but the spirit of the ancestors will be helping those who are there. I feel that there is something done to the current administration um, and they're targeted by citizens. There's no justice and many will continue to starve and struggle to make ends meet. There will be a change by the end of 2022. There will be some kind of energetic wave or shift. I see there being help coming from other possible countries or um, or through organizations. All right. Cryptocurrency. I continue to see the digital wallets and digital currency being something that grows, but it will not replace the American dollar, at least not yet. However, there is a lot of focus on changing uh, of that changing in the future. I see China again being the mastermind behind this, and I do feel like there's a lot of focus on which types of crypto to invest in, but I see stagnation in Bitcoin for some reason. Then I see a growth in others. However, those who truly know what they're doing and invest in the right crypto will have massive profits. There will be some um, new laws placed on cryptocurrency to control it as well. Climate. Um, we will see a very cold winter in some parts of the northeast of the USA and also many southern states will be affected. I see earthquakes, earthquakes continuing to be very active and I, as I have mentioned California may have more but I feel um, I still feel Taiwan, Ecuador, Mexico and parts of the USA will continue to um, see more powerful and frequent ones. Um, I see there being something within the, um, the ozone changing too, meaning it's getting worse not better and I see there being some type of smog or air pollution worsening and smoke that covers a city. There's could be natural fires, but I see that happening. Flooding will occur in the North USA and in some Southern states too. Hurricane season will be active with many churning um, and I see one hitting near Florida or impacting part of that. I see some coming to possibly Northeast Texas near Galveston, Beaumont area and the whole Texas Gulf Coast is prone to getting a hurricane. President Trump, Trump, when will he will he run for re-election? There is a possibility he's thinking of it, but I feel he is more so ruffling feathers. I see him working within the Republican Party and still having a massive influence on people. In some ways, he is sitting there watching the current administration and shaking his head. He is literally watching things and he truly would do things differently. We would not be seeing the shortages, the higher gas prices, and much more. I I see him enjoying his downtime as well. He will continue to be the witch in this witch hunt because the left does not want to see him run for office in 2024. 2022 elections, there will be a lot of change and I see the Republican party actually taking control of many areas, though they should not underestimate the Democratic party because there is still power and influence. When it comes to voting laws and such, you will see blue states push for more voting without an ID and within red states, you will see stricter laws. Uh, Elon Musk, um, with his boss move of bring, uh, bringing Tulsa to, um, to Texas, you will continue to see Texas being a hot commodity of freedom, but also business booming. Slowly, Texas is becoming the conservative California. More businesses and, and people will flock to Texas for this reason. I continue to see transplants from New York, Michigan, Oregon, California, and other states. They are choosing Texas because we have become slowly a more viable place to live and prosper. There's a lot of money and farmers in California will eventually move to Texas too, which will boost the agriculture business in Texas. <laughs> Sorry. 
pick up. All right, now we're going to get into our celebrity predictions. All right. So the first celebrity is Ariana Grande. I see a baby on the way for Ariana. I don't know if this will happen in 2022, but I kept seeing a pregnancy on the way and she's ready to be a mother. In fact, I feel she could have a boy at some point in her life. Mariah Carey, totally love Mariah and have been a fan since day one. Let me just say that. I can say here that I see her working on new music and also one of her children doing something in the studio with her. I feel Monroe is going to take her mom's career path, but also doing something in TV. Billie Eilish, I see her evolving, and she's she has not only evolved into a more feminine look, but also her music has evolved. I see her working on some new music with darker undertones and vibes, and I also feel that she would um, could be asked to star in a movie or TV role at some point. Kim Kardashian, I see her and Pete being a thing in the past, a thing in the past, and she will continue to date others. Again, this could change, but there could be many turns for her, but I feel like she does still think and care about Kanye. I see her writing a book in the future, and I feel like she has so many things to say. Also see her remarrying in the future. Um, Shakira, I see her eventually splitting up from her man. Yes, although there is love there and children, I see her getting tired of some of his of some of the controlling ways her partner has. She also will be shaking those hips to another man. Bill Gates, you will see him eventually with another partner. I feel like for the time period, he will remain single, but not for too long. He will be marrying again. Justin Bieber, I see him, him and Haley having issues within the relationship. I feel like they do get along, but I see Justin suffering from depression and resorting back to old ways. She will find out that he has done something that has um, that was kept secret and will choose to eventually leave, but this relationship will break up. Sean Mendez, all right, so I do see here, um, I was right about him and Camila Cabello actually splitting, but they are still good friends. I feel like Sean eventually does come out as his authentic self. However, he might be seen with another female in the future, but it's just more of the tabloids, uh, more than anything. It's the tabloids is what I see. Um, but uh, let's see here. Yeah. Just to keep the tabloids confused. Adele, I see her wanting to do something else. I see her loving music, but this album did not garner the cells with, that her last few albums did. She will continue to be successful, but I do uh, feel unless she changes her musical type or musical style that others will slowly move away from this. She is still marketable, but I feel like she would love to make different music. She will be expanding her empire and also be creating products. Rihanna. Rihanna, I see her looking for love and um, and to fall pregnant too. She's wanting to be a mother. She will fall pregnant. I feel like um, she will be a single mom, but this is going to be her decision. I also see her wanting to make music again within the next few years. So we may see another album, but her priorities are with her makeup and lingerie line. All right, guys. So this is all the celebrity predictions that I actually have. And I want to thank you so, so much for allowing me to do these readings uh, for you guys. And again, these will all be available on my website if you choose to see them there. Um, again, many blessings in love and light. And uh, uh, I hope everybody enjoyed that. Again, um, this will be on my website. Bye.